Hi everybody, Mitchell here. Today I'm going to be making a video that I've sort of been dreading to make and avoiding making. Mostly because I've had uh, a request to make it. People want to hear what I think. So, today's video is about my thoughts on Jeffree Star. And I'll toss Shane Dawson in there just for good measure. But originally, this video was going to be just about Jeffree Star and my thoughts. So, I started watching Jeffree after his first seri series with Shane Dawson almost two years ago. So, uh, as for Shane Dawson, I only started watching him after he started doing the documentary type, uh, type videos because I like those. And I hadn't really watched a whole lot of his comedy skits or the food videos until later. I still prefer the documentary style that he uh, was making back then. <clears throat> he seems to be evolving a little bit since. But anyway, back to the original topic, Jeffree Star. Uh, this is hard for me to make because I really, after watching the series, both series, I really admired Jeffree Star because he's different and he's controversial and he doesn't take bullshit and... I perceived him to be authentic. Like, he's always talking about transparency and being authentic and being yourself and not being afraid to be yourself. And uh, that's what I admired about him. In my eyes, I thought I had heard bigly about his past, especially after watching Shane's series. And I thought, everybody has a past, and I don't like to judge people for their past. He was, let's say, what, 16, 17? I didn't really pay attention to him during the MySpace days. I vaguely remember him from back then. But I thought, everybody has a past, and I try to give him the benefit of the doubt. And I admired him, and he helped me to embrace parts of myself that I've held a lot of shame about. So, that was my opinion on Jeffree Star until recently. Uh, I am well aware that he's extremely controversial, and he's always up in the drama. But I tend to watch his activity and form my own opinions. For example, when the virus uh, and lockdown and everything started happening, I watched to see what he would do because he has a lot of influence and a lot of power and a lot of money. He can make a lot of difference. And he was donating a lot of money to help people, just randomly. And that's part of why I admire him, is he does that. Um, but my opinion has completely shifted. Part of me still admires that part of Jeffrey. But I've also had to realize and come to terms with the fact that the person that I admire 
uh, isn't quite the person who he perceives himself to be still. There's parts of him that are hidden from us. I also watched him during uh, the Black Lives Matter movement situation and all the murders and everything that was happening. And he was completely silent, just pushing pallets, just pushing his makeup, didn't say a word, didn't offer condolences, nothing. And that has opened my eyes about him. His complete lack of compassion for so many lives that have been impacted and lost. I couldn't not see that. Because that's not his past, that's his present behavior that I've seen with my own eyes. I've heard other things about him using inappropriate language, but I'm basing my opinion on what I've seen with my own eyes. Um, my opinion about his latest palette, the cremated palette, um, well, his last two palettes, I believe, have not been up to par, but concerning the cremated palette specifically, um, I think it was not up to par to his usual standards. The packaging left much to be desired. Uh, the release of this product during a very sensitive time for everybody um, was in poor taste. And yes, I realize that it takes months to make a palette and uh, he had this idea way before everything hit. However, he's Jeffrey freaking star. He has so much money that I've never seen and probably never will see and most of us probably never will see in our lifetime. If I was Jeffree Star, even though it would hurt, and if I was, and if I was very, he's very money driven, I've noticed that about him. Even though he gives a lot of money away, he's very money driven. But anyway, if I was Jeffree Star, I would have taken the financial hit, pulled the pellet, and not released it at all. Because he said something like it wouldn't have made it to Halloween, it would have gone bad, or something like that. I don't know, but I would have just not released the palette altogether. <sighs> now, as for Shane, I've always seen Shane as, let's see, I don't know how I discovered him, I think somehow through his documentary series, probably probably through Graveyard Girl. Um, but anyway, I saw him as someone who wanted to help people and was very kind and very sweet. And part of me still sees him that way, but I also see things that are surfacing and resurfacing that are completely inappropriate. And he says, oh, those were edited, I didn't say that, or whatever. Those words should have never come out of your mouth. Never. Um, I'm I think he's not as innocent as most of his followers think he is. 
not as naive as most of his followers think he is. And his friendship with Jeffrey, at first I thought it was beautiful that they could mesh together so well. And now, even I think that's questionable. Um, I, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words just thinking about it because it's all such a mess and it's all such nonsense. Um, I no longer support Jeffree Star. I have never bought any of his products. I have, as a result of all this, put my own enjoyment and passions for makeup behind me because the whole beauty industry seems to be toxic as hell. So, I would rather just kind of mourn my dreams and my passion and put it behind me than support people like this by buying their products. But by all means, if you know anyone who is not toxic as hell um, and has a makeup line that is hopefully somewhat affordable uh, and vibrant, let me know. Because I know Lady Gaga has a makeup line. Um, and it's cruelty free. And I love Gaga. She's like my everything. My <laughs> As far as someone that I admire. I've seen her in concert. I just love everything that she does. But her makeup as far as the colors and everything. They just don't appeal to my style. Uh, I liked Jeffrey's very bold and very vibrant style of makeup. But his quality in personality and in product is far less than it should be. Um, if you want to know all the hot tea or whatever, there's tons of it out right now. There's tons of reaction channels if you would rather not support these people's individual channels. Uh, I I don't know you guys. I'm at a loss for words for all of this. I'm just... When it all first started happening, I was extremely heartbroken. That's how much I love Jeffrey. Loved as in past tense. Um, I loved him a lot. I loved what I thought he stood for. Because people just love him for who he is. He's very different, but people just love him. And I love that about his fan base and about him, but the reality is it's not like that. And I have to face what's staring right back at me, and it's not what I thought it was. And I cannot stand behind any of this. no matter what, because his, his deafening silence is what stands out to me more than anything, and it's not acceptable, and that is my opinion and my thoughts. If you want to know my thoughts on anything else, 
when it comes to this, please let me know. And I will gladly make another video addressing whatever questions you have. I'm also going to be working on a Q&A, so if you have any questions regarding anything, uh, drop them in the comments, and I will put that together and get it out to you soon. I thank you for watching and listening and being here. I appreciate every single one of you, and I will catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.